Welcome back to the 10 ways to get your most inspired results. This is essential number six. What do you feel is the most important skill you need to master no matter what your goal is? Whether you're a stay-at-home mom, an aspiring entrepreneur, or a seasoned corporate executive, this skill will help you take your game to another level. Write down the skill you feel you absolutely need to master in your field. Then write down the name of whoever you feel already has this skill. Connect with this next story and you'll awaken this success trait in you in a fraction of the time that it takes most people. If you had been on the phone with me that day, you would have heard the Dubai healthcare representative, healthcare city representative say, We would love to invite you to speak at our next integrative medicine conference. I was like, great. And she said, and Dr. Odie, just so you know, Dr. Andrew Weil will be the keynote speaker. What? I am a big fan. Did you know that he's a Harvard medical doctor? He appeared on Oprah and Larry King and he's a best-selling author. Plus, did you know he's considered the father of integrative medicine? As you can imagine, I was more than a little excited, but I also felt something else, edgy and tense. For months after that phone call, I was unable to sleep. I was mentally distracted, not only in my personal life, but also my professional life. As the event drew near, I couldn't get my presentation together because I kept imagining the famous Dr. Andrew Weil staring at me from the audience. My good friend paid me a visit. How's the speech coming along, he asked. Which one, I said. He said, Odie, you're given more than one speech? I said, no, but I have five different versions. How are you feeling, my friend asked me. I said, I am feeling terrified. He said, what are you afraid of? I'm afraid of looking like an idiot. Would you have been intimidated if a guru in your field was speaking on the same stage? Well, I certainly was. Odie, it looks like you're subordinating and therefore feeling intimidated, advised my friend. Tell me what it is exactly that you feel Dr. Andrew Weil has that you don't. Well, a bunch of things, but it really comes down to this. He loves his work and really knows his stuff. What my friend said next was a powerful reminder that inspired me. I hope it has the same effect on you. What, do you ad- what you admire in people is always a reflection of yourself. I remember the saying, it takes one to know one, but I always thought of it in a negative sense. I really wanted to believe what he said, but I was com- wasn't completely convinced. He said, What do you risk by subordinating to someone else? You don't shine, you lack confidence in you. How do you feel? My friend ran through a series of questions with one purpose, to make me see that I already got what Dr. Andrew Weil has in some form or another. Who in your life currently can see that you love your work? My friend asked me. With his coaching, I was able to list many names. Then he said, Who in your past has seen that you loved your work? Again, I named many more. Then he said, who sees that you know your stuff? Again, I listed them. When it was all said and done, I couldn't believe how many people I was able to come up with. I was amazed. Just like that, I was no longer subordinating. It worked. The famous Dr. Andrew Weil didn't seem so intimidating anymore. I was no longer focused on one audience member. I was focused on the message I wanted to deliver to the entire audience. I got up on stage, stood tall, and delivered the best version of my speech. I had lunch with Dr. Weil and realized something incredible. No matter what you've accomplished in life, you'll never be more than a human being. I have what Dr. Andrew Weil has in some form, and I am what he is, someone who loves his work and knows his stuff. I went from feeling awe to feeling appreciation for him and for myself. 
Whatever trait you have identified in another that you feel is most important for your field is also within you. You too can awaken it. Many greats have recognized this kind of reflective consciousness. I recall Dr. Wayne Dyer saying, the wise sees themselves in others and others in themselves. I am convinced that no one is better than you, no one is beneath you, and nothing is beyond you. Who do you find yourself intimidated by in your field? Who are you resentful of at work? Who are you subordinating to? What greatness in you are you not honoring? Write down the name of the person you most admire and ask yourself one question. Who sees in me what I see in them? And keep asking until you've completely awakened that quality in you. When it comes to the success trait that you think others have, know that you have it too. And if you can honor it in yourself, getting the inspired results you're after will be that much easier.